This right here is my latest project and it is completely different. Not only is this one special car, but it is also a very special car in North America. You're probably asking yourself, what is this? Because you've never seen this emblem before and it is a Renault. To be specific, this is a Renault R5 GTL Le Car. Le Car was the North American version of this car, which meant base level or entry level car. Before I share more details with you guys about this amazing little car, I should bring it out into the sun so you guys have a better view. Before I do that, I actually have to swap out the rear wheel because it has a flat and it is currently sitting on blocks. So I'll do that right now, share with you guys some B-roll and head outside. The Renault R5 Le Car has been pulled out of that barn. Now it's finally outside in the sun after a very long time. And I can go ahead and share with you guys some of the interior as well as the exterior. For almost a 50 year old French car imported into Canada, this car looks immaculate on the interior. I have to admit for a barn find, this is actually really amazing. And this car has been sitting for numerous years. You have to see these seats for yourself. They're actually in great condition and they have a lot of give to them. The springs are still perfect as well as the backrest and the headrest. Have a look at the driver's side door. The paint looks amazing. It even reflects my hand. If you guys can see that right there, it's still super shiny. The trim is amazing. The insert right here in this door is still in great condition. There's no damage and it hasn't lifted off the door. The plastic parts have faded a little bit, but they're not damaged. So I'm really happy with that. Even the door latch still works super cool. Over here on the interior, the steering wheel has faded a little bit as well as the top dashboard area it is faded a little bit but that's nothing to worry about even the buttons still work amazing even though this was the base model Renault R5 it had some cool features along the center console on the center console we can turn the air conditioning off and on over here we can also turn up the heat and also have our AC on the left we can also open our vents you'll hear it manually opening so that's a very cool feature right here we have a little tray for some storage up above we will have our vents super simple just adjust it up or down and left or right for both driver and passenger towards the bottom you will notice an ashtray as well as our lighter right here i guess that doesn't pop out anymore i'm gonna have to fix that down below you'll see something very interesting a vertically placed radio instead of horizontally most radios have been placed horizontally within the center console and the french decided to put it vertically because there is a little bit of room right there so i think i talked enough about the cool and simple features within the Renault r5 now i'll share with you guys the exterior the hatch in the back and then the engine bay The Renault R5 happens to be a three-door hot hatch from France. Even though this car is tiny, just look at the space within the hatch. Just so much room in here. We can actually lift up this board and just fold down the back seats just like that. And just look at all that space in there. I hope you'll understand how much space this really is. One thing I almost forgot to mention on the back are these super cool lights right here and these trim pieces above. I think they just look super cool on this car. 
This whole hatch also only has exactly one hinge, but I'm gonna close this off because there's not much in the back. There's only storage above the car and nothing below. But right now I'm gonna share with you guys the front of this car, which is the engine bay. Okay, the moment of truth. I'm gonna open up this hood and you're gonna see for the first time what's underneath of this. And I'm gonna share some details on the drivetrain of this car. You are probably asking yourself, what have you got yourself into, Andreas? And I just have to say it's a massive project, but I am not scared of tackling this project because I know half of the engine is already missing. Somebody already took it apart and I just have a major cleanup to do. I've actually never tackled a huge project like a car before, but I have high hopes that I will finish this, bring this up and running, and I will make it look cosmetically very good again. If this right here looks like a salad to you with some French dressing, well, then you're wrong because it's actually not. It's an inline four-cylinder engine. Right down below, you'll notice the cylinder head is missing. An inline four-cylinder, which happens to be 1.4 liter, I believe. If not, then it's a 1.3 liter. Uh, I will have to do some more research on it. And if I don't figure it out, then I will have to obviously just take it apart and find some more information about it. But this inline four-cylinder engine that makes around 50 horsepower is hooked up to a front five-speed transmission. Yes, the transmission is in front of the engine because the transmission also powers the front wheels. So we have a front wheel drive car, which has the transmission in front of the engine. It's obviously very hard to see what's going on down there because there's a bunch of wires, a bunch of hoses just laying around because nothing is hooked up. Once I have everything dismantled, I'll share with you guys some more details on this drivetrain because I will be rebuilding most of it. If you guys are really interested to know what model this is exactly, then we'll go right down here on this number plate. This is an R1224, and that is the model for this specific car. I just shared with you guys the engine bay, and it looks like a disaster. There's parts everywhere, and it's super dirty, so I'm going to have to clean that up and bring it into the shop very soon. But I'll leave that for another video. If you guys have any questions about this Renault R5, drop a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So right now, I'm going to close the hood on the Renault R5. I'm going to clean the exterior, the interior, the engine bay, so I can finally bring it into the shop. So I'll see you guys in an upcoming video.